Well, welcome to your new month. It's your friend, Dr. Alexis, coming in from Dallas, Texas. As you're coming on, do me a favor. Like, share, tag the broadcast. Let somebody know that I'm on once again. It's your friend, Dr. Alexis, coming in from Dallas, Texas. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the broadcast. Happy April. It's the first of the month. April is my birthday month. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the broadcast. It's your friend, Dr. Alexis, coming in from Dallas, Texas. Welcome to the broadcast. Come on in, come on in, come on in for the word of the Lord for April 2024. Grace and peace to you, everyone. Do me a favor. Let me know where you're coming in from. Texas, God bless you. Brooklyn, God bless you. Welcome to the broadcast, y'all. Happy April. 2024. Plano, God bless you. DMV. DMV, stay around. I got a special announcement coming up. Detroit in the house. NYC, God bless you. God bless you. Welcome to the broadcast. Indianapolis, Las Vegas, New Jersey, Louisville, Kentucky. Do me a favor. Let somebody know that I'm on. It's your friend, Dr. Alexis, coming in from Dallas, Texas, here to encourage, inspire, equip. Come on, give you some prophetic knowledge, some insight, some direction. Every month, we set our month with prayer and the prophetic word. Hallelujah. So, Father, we just thank you tonight. Welcome, Daquan, long time, Richmond, Virginia. I hope to see you. Erica, 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 but in the loo, they call her Erica, Erica. What's up, Dr. Quinn? Coming in from Mississippi. God bless you, Wachahatchee. God bless you, Jamaica, Kingston, Gainesville, Canada. God bless you. Welcome to the broadcast. McKinney, Texas, God bless you. Alabama, God bless you. Indianapolis, Los, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, UK. God bless you. Yes, Nicola said, my birthday's in nine days. Listen, you guys, my birthday's on the 10th. It's on the 10th. And so, you know, you already know, I'm accepting all gifts, whatever. I'm gonna have to say what I, what I want though, as a, you know, cause words create worlds, but I'll be talking about that later. My birthday is April the 10th. You guys, I'll be 42. Can you, whew. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. Oh, how the years go by. Hey, Ty. Oh, how the years go by. I just want to say that April birthdays are the best birthdays, okay? April birthdays are the best birthdays. I mean, I love y'all. But April is something about the April birthdays. 42 word. Thank you, uh, Akira. About to be 42. Atlanta, God bless you. Hallelujah. Welcome. Thank you. It's all this, you know, chubbiness, a little chubbiness that keeps it. It makes it look like I'm a little younger. Thank God for that little chubbiness. <laughs> Welcome to the broadcast, y'all. Come on in to the, come on in, come on in. Hey, Dante. Welcome to the broadcast, Jacqueline. Hallelujah. You guys, I'm going to jump right in. I'm excited to be here tonight. I feel like I haven't been with y'all for a minute. I don't know where I've been. Oh, you know what? I've been traveling. I've been, uh, we drove to St. Louis, which I'm going to share that with you because that's part of the word uh, tonight. But we drove to St. Louis with my in-laws. And so I went to St. Louis uh, to take care of my dad. And uh, yeah, now I'm back in Texas. We just had a powerful meeting. We just did our first, uh, James and I, we married a couple on April, um, we, we married a couple on the 30th. That was supernatural too. And so they had a wedding that we planned within two weeks. Shout out to the team. Planned within two weeks and it was amazing. And so, yeah, we did that. We also had prophetic fire. And so I'm just excited to be here with you guys. Hey, Monica Miner, I've been seeing your pictures. They look amazing. If I do say so myself. All right, Kay Jackson, God bless you. God bless you guys. Continue to come on, like, share, tag the broadcast. A couple of minutes, I'll be live with you for the monthly word. 
excited about what the Lord has for April because it's my birthday month. Okay. And so, you know, I always believe that there is supernatural activity that is heightened around your birthday month. I don't know how many of you have experienced that in your own life. I just go back on my own life and my friend's life. And I say, now, hold on, girl, this happened for me. What happened for you? And so I don't know if you guys count count uh the the miraculous things that happen around your birthday month but i always look out for those times because i wait for god to do something superb right i'm waiting for him to do something that will blow my mind okay i am always in the posture for the miraculous to take place so holy spirit even as we are setting this month with prayer and prophecy, Father, I thank you. Hallelujah, that you go before us. May the kabah, the weight of the glory, of your glory, drop upon us now. And God, I thank you that you guide our footsteps this month. Father, I thank you that you move us out of frustration. You move us out of fear. And Father, that you bring us face to face with that which you are calling into our life. Let us rest in knowing that it is you who leads us and guide us. Let us rest in knowing that it is you who presents us to the right people. And so, Lord, we just remove all of our doing because it's up to your doing. Hallelujah. It is now unto you and not unto us. So, Father, we trust you. We love you tonight that you are moving us into a whole nother sphere. You are moving us into a whole nother set time. You are moving us into a whole nother place. God, we thank you that we have not wasted any hour, any bit of time. I see where many have thought that they have wasted time, that they're behind the curve. I want to let you know right now that you are right on time. Hallelujah, that you are right on time with God's timeline. Don't move too fast. Don't, don't move too fast. Allow God to do it. Allow God to do it. Hallelujah. And so, Father, we just thank you. We bless you for meeting us here tonight. And we believe that there shall be transformation that happens this month. We believe, hallelujah, that you're going to blow a wind that's going to send us into the right place. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Let me play some commercials real quick and then I'll be right back with you guys. Have y'all checked out the Here Comes the Bride series? You definitely do not want to miss these. We broadcast every Wednesday at 7 p.m. CST. You need to look them up on YouTube right now. They are life changing. See you there. Join me April 4th at 6 p.m. CST to learn how to become a state level vendor and to obtain an essential contract. You definitely don't want to miss this course. Okay, Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Virginia, all y'all on the East Coast. Y'all been asking me to come and now y'all better show up. OK, I will be there April 19th and 20th alongside some good friends of mine. Can't wait to see y'all. You can register at DrAlexisLive.com. And I just am so excited for this move of God that's about to take place. Get your tickets now. OK, so Washington, D.C. OK, Let, let's see how y'all do. I haven't been in Washington in a minute. And so uh, maybe five years, and I definitely have never hosted a meeting there. And so Washington, Virginia, Baltimore, all of y'all over there, do not come in my inbox talking about when you come into this place and you don't come. So y'all make sure to come. I'll be there the 18th, I'm sorry, the 19th and the 20th. We are setting up details now. The space is to be decided. God bless you, Australia. The place is to be decided, but I will be in Washington, D.C. on those dates. Tickets already purchased with my friends. 
uh, Shannon and Brian will be there and maybe some more of the team, but we are coming to do, uh, to have an experience there, Dr. Alexis and friends. And so I cannot wait to see you guys in the DMV. Okay. The DMV finally is happening. Okay. It's happening. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right, you guys, I'm ready to start. I'm ready to start. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Well, while I'm sitting up here, I'm hearing a word. I just want to even look up the word. Hallelujah. You know what's interesting? Sometimes with the prophetic, we don't always know what the Lord is exactly saying, right? So, you know, because he speaks in a multitude of ways. And so last month I, I saw a cargo ship. I don't know if you guys remember the broadcast I was on. I was like, I see a cargo ship and, uh, you know, it's dropping off some stuff. We just prophesy the ship is coming in and, uh, you know, I'm singing the song. My ship has finally come. I mean, because there are double entendres in the way in which he speaks, okay? There's a multitude of ways in which he speaks when he when he talks. You got to understand and not limit it to your understanding, you know, not limit it to the way you think that he uh he talks. Just know that he does speak, right? And so um uh I saw the the ship and I said, you know, our ship is coming in. Let's prophesy it. And there have been some ships that um, that have come in. There has been some, you know, opportunities, whatever, the relationships, et cetera. But there was also a real ship, okay? There was a real cargo ship that hit Baltimore, a bridge in Baltimore. And when I saw that, I was just thinking, I just don't, you know, I don't be always under, I don't always understand. And I think it's prophetic people. The Bible says we know in part and prophesy in part, right? And so there is multiple ways in which he, he speaks things. We just have to be open to say what we see. We trust what we see. And so prayers for the families uh, who lost loved ones in that crash um, with the cargo ship. And, um, I'm going to just keep on speaking and trust God that he will, I don't know. I'll just say what I see. That's all I can do and never get prideful thinking that I know anything except Christ and Christ crucified. Okay. That's how we have to be. Uh, the Lord told me, he said, tell the people to rest in his ability, my ability and not theirs. Because a lot of times we are trying to move by our own power. But when you move by your own power, you are not graced in that area. And so you have to uh, rest in his ability and not yours. Father, we repent for trying to do things in our own way. We try to create businesses. You try to create things, ideas, whatever, but is it what God wants you to do at that moment? Is it what God wants you to do at that moment? So father, help us to not be moved by our own great ideas, okay? Is it a God idea or is it our idea? Now, the word that I'm hearing right now, you guys, is avalanche, avalanche all right? Avalanche. Avalanche, it means a sudden arrival or occurrence of something in overwhelming quantities, barrage, volley, flood, deluge, torrents, tide, stream, shower, okay? An avalanche. The opposite of that would be a trickle. Did I say if you're ready for the word, say ready? Well, hopefully y'all ready. We in it. We in it, okay? All right? So a barrage, a flood, a deluge, a torrent, a tide, a stream, a shower. Hallelujah. A shower. There's another one. It says a mass of snow, ice, or rocks falling rapidly down a mountainside. 
a landslide, a landslip, a rock slide, a rock slide, and an ice fall. This is what I'm going to do this time since that just happened last time. This is what I'm going to do. Father, we cover every area concerning an avalanche. Father, I pray that if there be any snow, ice, or rocks falling rapidly anywhere around this world, Lord, that you would cover the people, that there would not be uh, any casualties. Father, I pray that you would dispatch your angels in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And I also thank him for the sudden arrival or occurrence of something in overwhelming quantities, because the Lord said that this month there shall be an avalanche. Oh, yes. Lift your hands to that right there. He said there's going to be an avalanche. So whatever it is that you need, an avalanche of opportunities, an avalanche of funding, an avalanche of finances, an avalanche of meetings, an avalanche, hallelujah, of supernatural occurrences, an avalanche, hallelujah, over an occurrence, a sudden arrival. There shall be a sudden arrival. Hallelujah. So we're saying here, for those of you who just joined, the first word I heard was avalanche. The Lord said that there is going to be an avalanche, that that is a word for April. The, I don't know, April, the month of avalanche. I don't know, but that's what I heard. A sudden arrival, a sudden arrival. Hallelujah. And so we have been waiting for something, but there it's going to happen this month. I see that thing coming right in. Hallelujah. Coming right in. Hallelujah. And the Lord said that I'm going to put you on the fast track once it does. I'm going to put you on the fast track once it does. And even the fast track of healing. I saw healing coming to the people of God. It's going to be like, whoosh, just, it's going to be amazing. Unlimited healing is coming to you. The Bible talks about even as your soul may prosper. And so he wants us to be in good health and also our souls to be in good health. That's why David said he restoreth my soul. So Father, we thank you for an avalanche of healing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Now, I only got a few notes for you guys today. I only got a few notes for you guys. Thank you, Lord. I don't know, but I feel a stirring in my belly, so I'm trying to hold on. And y'all tarry with me tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The first word that I heard while I was, um, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are holy. Oh, so holy. You are holy, oh, so holy. What a privilege and an honor to worship at your throne, to be called into your presence as your own. You are faithful, oh, so faithful. You are faithful, oh, so faithful. What a privilege and an honor to worship at your throne, 
to be caught into your presence as your own, as your own. You are faithful. Is he faithful? Oh, so faithful. You are faithful. Oh, so faithful. What a privilege and an honor to worship at your throne, to be called into your presence as your own, as your own. Hallelujah. Heaven's high, but there's no one. There is no one, no one. I can search the earth below. I can search the heavens high, but there's no one. There is no one, no one. I can search the he is faithful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I hear the Lord say, I'm about to interrupt your regularly scheduled programming. I'm about to interrupt. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Father said, and even as I interrupt, I give intel. Even as I interrupt, I give intel. I give intelligence, hidden knowledge, the secret things, the treasures that are hidden. And I hear the Lord say, you shall surely bounce back from that attack. You will surely bounce back from that attack. Hallelujah. I see that something happened last month, mid-month. But the Lord is showing me that you will get over this hurdle. Hallelujah. I'm about to interrupt your regularly scheduled programming. And I'm going to give you intelligence. I'm going to give you intel. This is beyond what you, what your intellect could tell. But this is heavenly intel. Hallelujah. And the Lord said, I've seen your sacrifice. I've seen your sacrifice. And there has been a plot to divide and conquer, but it shall not be. For I have sent my enmity, which is Jesus. No more bouncing to and fro. I need you to stand still and see my salvation. For I have set angel armies around you. And my glory shall astound you. And there are things that you cannot see in your peripheral, but I have already seen. And I will remove every plant. Every demonic entity that has come to cause havoc or wreak havoc. Every cancer that has been planted in your body, in your circle. I see all and I know all. But I still have called you. So come up out of hiding. Last year was one to retreat. This year I call you back on your feet. Arise and shine for your light has come. There is more work to be done, more things to do. I see you and I know you, says the Lord. Get back on board.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just saw a vision of like soldiers being um, deployed. I think that that's in the spiritual and in the natural. So, Father, we pray for the um, the Army and the Air Force, the armed services all around the countries, for every country. And, Father, we thank you that whatever war may be brewing, that, Lord, you already know all. So, Father, we pray that you cover our children, that you cover the those who are young and those who are old, even those who will be asked to reenlist. And, Father, I thank you, hallelujah, that you give us that you've given us the intel. Father, I thank you that anything that has been tried, any attack shall fail in the name of Jesus. Any attack shall fail in the name of Jesus. It shall be thwarted. Father, we pray that your angelic host, God, that you would send them across the waters. Hallelujah. For even every, every, um, I see like this thing over the waters, Hallelujah, this spirit over the waters. God, I thank you right now that you would thwart every spirit, Father, that you would send your angelic host to intercept just like a football. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. This is what I heard the Lord say. He said that this is a month of return. This is a month of return. So I said, okay, scripture, Zechariah 1 and 3, return to me, declares the Lord, and I will return to you, says the Lord Almighty. For the Lord your God is gracious and compassionate. He will not turn his face from you if you return to him. Let us examine our ways and test them and let us return to the Lord. Another one, Isaiah 44 and 22 says, return from me to me for I have redeemed you. He said that this would be a month of return. Joel 2 and 12, even now declares the Lord, return to me with your heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. We were doing the uh, prophetic service. We host the prophetic service on the last Friday of every month uh, in Dallas. And um, I saw an ice cube and in the ice cube, there were the hearts of the people and the hearts of the people had waxed cold, not just their hearts, all of our hearts, everybody included, right? Uh, it was like God was showing me how so many things had taken place that caused people, us, to put our focus on those things of the world, but it had caused our, our prayer time to wax cold, or it had caused our uh, fasting time to wax cold, or it had caused our, there was a tiredness that was across the body of believers, right? where they had done so many works, but see, there's something when the Lord calls you to go on a fast, right? There's something when God does it. We went on a fast for a month straight um, on Wednesdays for a couple. We went alongside a couple and we fasted them right into a marriage. They were supernaturally engaged. And just on the last, uh, on James and I ended up marrying them on Saturday. And it was a supernatural wedding and God did it. And, uh, you know, we fasted with them. And so fasting, I call it fast action, supernatural turnaround, because what it does is it will, it is, it, it is like, uh, one guy says, uh, Kevin Ewing, he said, it's like a spiritual bomb, fast action, supernatural turnaround. I used to say, I hate to fast, but I love the results. But there are some things that uh, now I have to say I love to fast because words create worlds. But look, there are things that happen um, when when you fast and fast together. So Ecclesiastes four and nine says two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. And so that two did become one. 
and they were able to see the return. This is a month of return, a return on investments, a return of opportunities, a return of a loved one, and return of our hearts. Yeah, our hearts. Our hearts. There's an old song, but I can remix the song and say, my heart is longing for his love. My heart, our hearts, is longing for God's love. All right? Because no man can fulfill that. Only God can do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so we thank him for that in Jesus' mighty name. For even as the deer pants for water, may our souls long for the Father. I heard the Lord say, pray against backlash and even that which opposes the brethren in the spiritual realm and in the natural. And in the natural. Hallelujah. Every technological attack, every attack that is systematic, every attack, Father, we thank you for covering the pipes. Hallelujah. We thank you for covering um, the telecommunications in Jesus' mighty name. Also, the Lord said, do not get in fear and start listening to fear. I see a lot of people posting uh, TikTok prophecies. And I'm not going to say some people on TikTok uh, aren't right, but I'm going to say a lot of them are wrong. Okay. And I just want to let you know, do not get caught up in conspiracy. Conspiracy sometimes can seem like prophecy, but it's not because it is off and it is not the heart of the Lord. So I want you to... Uh, be careful what you allow yourself to listen to because that can have you in a whole tizzy, okay? Trust in the Lord and let him be the one who gives you insight and direction. Hallelujah. Concerning your protection, concerning this nation and other nations in Jesus name. Amen. I don't let conspiracy do. I don't let conspiracy uh, enter the chat room concerning me. Okay. I mean, there's conspiracy. I just was thinking about this. Uh, you know, the other day I was about to be up in arms. Yesterday was uh, Resurrection Sunday, and I was going to be up and up in arms because I saw that Biden. Uh, they said that Biden posted a. He made uh, the day um, Transgender Visibility Day, and so I was about to be up in arms. Do you hear what I'm saying? But then I stopped and I Googled because I said, "Well, hold on, let me just Google." And come to find out, it, the same day was put in action in 2009 on the 31st of every year. All right. So that means that Obama uh, promoted that. That means that Trump promoted that. And so did Biden. And so I want to, us to be sure that we don't get up in arms about things that you're talking about people who are not believers are doing or are in believers in their own whatever these people pre presidents are not our pastors all right and so please <laughs> please you guys just be sober because every day there's going to be something to be mad about but you have to stand on your post concerning your family and the lord is speaking about families one of the words I kept seeing coming up was for it was called a domino effect. The Lord said that it was about to be a domino effect concerning our families and uh, even concerning uh, loved ones and people in general. He said, I am orchestrating things behind the scenes. And I want to go to um, Acts for this one second. I want to go, well, not Acts, it is... Um, Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I preached some of this the other day. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hopefully I didn't change the tab. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So give me a second. All right. So, Acts 8, 26 and through 40, 
Now an angel of the Lord said to Peter, rise up and go towards the south, the desert road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is a desert place. And he arose and went. And there was an Ethiopian, a eunuch, a court official of Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who was in charge of all of her treasure. And he had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning, seated in his chariot. And he was reading the prophet Isaiah. And the spirit said to Philip, go over there and join his, this chariot. So Philip ran to him and heard him reading Isaiah, the prophet, and asked, do you understand what you're reading? And he said, how can I unless someone guides me? And then he invited Philip to come and sit with him. He said, come up to sit with me. And now the passage of the scripture that he was reading was this, like a sheep, he was led to the slaughter and like a lamb before its shearer is silent, so he opens not his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who can describe his generation? For his life is was taken away from him. His life is taken away from the earth. And the eunuch said to Peter, I mean, I'm sorry, to Philip, about whom I ask you, does the prophet say this about himself or about someone else? And then Philip opened his mouth and began with this scripture. And he told him the good news about Jesus. And as they were going along the road, they came to some water and the eunuch said, see, here is water. What prevents me from being baptized? And he commanded the chariot to stop. And they both went down in the water and Philip and the eunuch and he baptized them him and when he, they came out of the water the spirit of the lord carried philip away and the eunuch saw him no more and went his way rejoicing but philip found himself at as as otis as he passed through he preached the gospel to all towns until he came to caesarea the Lord was letting me know that this month was a month for families. And I saw families being saved. I saw a domino effect happening to your families. Hallelujah. And this, and, and when I went home, my in-laws went with me to St. Louis and we drove 10 hours and I was like, God, I could have took a flight, but because I went home, my aunt, came to church. Okay. She came because she wanted to meet my in-laws. My aunt who is almost 60 gave her life to the Lord. Well, not only did she give her life to the Lord, but later that same day, her grandchildren who are like 16 and 11 and, uh, one is a nine, but the two, the 16 and the 11 had J year olds had James walk them through the gospel, the salvation, had them walk. He had him, they asked to be saved. Okay. Cause they saw their grandmother got saved. Now they asked to be saved. Hallelujah. As we were driving to, to, uh, St. Louis, we stopped in Springfield, Missouri and stayed the night when we stopped, we, uh, the elevator opened and my, at the hotel and my in-laws were started talking to a couple. The couple asked about the shirt they had on that came from 316 collection. 316 collection is a, a brand of my friends. Anyway, come to find out they had just been at the store in Dallas, Texas. And they said a young man had prayed for them. Well, that same young man ends up being the, the young man who is, who I just married, uh, on this past Saturday and also who lived with us for two years and also who gave, who, who gave them the gospel of Jesus Christ, but also was one who, uh, my cousin, um, I'm sorry, James sister hired from a conversation when I was like, Hey, have you thought about hiring him? Let me tell you, words create worlds no matter how long ago you've said them. God is doing something in believers. And he said that I'm orchestrating lives. You're talking about somebody who has not been, who ain't never given her their life to Jesus. 60 years old, gave her life to the Lord. And I believe that God is concerned about the hearts of our families. Yeah, for this month. That's my prayer on my birthday month that we would see salvations and 
people who are of high status, right? Because the, the, the eunuch was of high status, but he asked, what does this scripture mean? He asked Philip to come up and sit with him. All right. So maybe at your job, there are people of high status who are going to ask for what you have on the inside of you to minister to them about Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so I, I am standing in prayer concerning our loved ones, concerning uh, maybe a, a, a spouse, concerning maybe a boyfriend, concerning maybe a girlfriend. I don't know that they will give their life to Jesus. And that we would see the domino effect. That we would see the domino effect happen in our families. That we would see the domino effect happen for our loved ones. Hallelujah. Because that's what it's all about. I can get on here a million times and prophesy and say this, 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 all this, but I'm going to tell you that it's about souls. People don't get on here and talk about souls anymore. They don't, I don't even know do people ask people about have they received Jesus as their Lord and personal savior. People go off the handle online. They curse people out online. The, the prophets is cursing people out. The, uh, they, 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 it's like, uh, the breakfast club or the shade room for Jesus. <laughs> what is going on? But I believe that there are some elect ones who are, who are going to stand up and be accounted for because there are people who are waiting for the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so I pray today that even those of you who are watching, if you have not made Jesus your choice, and I'm talking about the choice, <laughs> the only one, the way, <laughs> the only way. We see people giving their lives to Muslim. We see people giving their life to, to, to Allah, whatever, to our black men, say they uh, Hebrew Israelites. We see people who who, I mean, it just doesn't matter. Every you universe, you now, you this, you that, everything. But Jesus. And so I'm believing God for a domino effect for our families. And I want you to be on the lookout for your friends who are going to call you and contact you and say, listen, I've been waiting for you. I need prayer and the Lord to open the door just like he did. He used my, the trip with us going driving 10 hours when I could have got on a plane. He opened the door and caused our hearts to move for our family. And why I say my heart to move is because we, I was, my father, money was stolen from him, like 30000 from a cousin, okay? From a cousin, the same cousin, the same cousin whose mother got saved. But this, when I saw her family getting saved, I went to my cousin because I said, who am I to travel the world and you can't forgive your cousin Alexis? And I went and I, I forgave my cousin and I prayed for her. And I prayed for her. And she apologized and she repented to me and whatever. But I'm going to tell you something that that released a weight off of me. It's one thing to travel and preach the gospel. It's another thing to live it. And so I saw a domino effect that was taking place that it would be that you would, you would go and apologize to your loved ones too. And you would, you would be, be have some forgiveness too this month for those who have hurt you, for those who have manipulated you, for those who have turned their back on you. Come on, for those who have lied on you, 
for those who have put your picture up on social media, acted a fool, acted a donkey, I'm telling you to forgive. And mercy, mercy is what creates miracles. And I'm telling you that mercy is going to come upon the people of God this month. You're going to find yourself weeping and not know why God said that I am cracking open something inside of you. Because it's your soul that matters most to me. He's softening your heart because your bloodline matters. This month, he said, I'm going to give you an opportunity to do it. This month, I'm going to give you an opportunity to open your mouth and make it right. This month, and you might say, this person is never going to change. It doesn't matter. But I'm going to tell you, you changed. Paul said, such were some of us. I don't know about you, but such was I. I was always saying something, doing something, acting some type of way. But thank God for grace and mercy. Hallelujah. 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 So we receive that now in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So the Lord said, he also said that for those who have been wandering, going in a circle, lay down the thing that has no grace for you to do. The thing that is more, that is a toiling act, an act of toil. He wants you to lay that down and go back to the word that you remember that brought the most peace. And then I want you to put your foot to the plow. And I heard this to claim your inheritance. Your inheritance is not just physical. Your inheritance is also spiritual. There is a spiritual legacy. All right. So if there's a spiritual legacy, that means me and my sons and daughters and not just those who are my liter- who are physical sons and daughters but also spiritual sons and daughters sisters and brothers there is an inheritance there is a legacy all right and so i claim the legacy of my bloodline being saved set free and filled with the holy ghost i claim that that they shall walk in the understanding of who jesus is that the lord shall woo them the same way he wooed me that he will break every barrier that's stopping them from being connected to the true vine. And why am I on this? Because there are things coming that people are going to need Jesus for, and only God can do it. And so we thank him for the inheritance of the saints. Hallelujah. 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 And then I saw a vision, you guys, and I wanted to have a a bowl, a gold bowl, but I don't have it right now. But I saw the gold bowl, a gold bowl that they talk about in Revelations 5 and 8. And it says, and when he had taken the book, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the lamb, having each one a harp and golden bowls full of incense, which are prayers of the saints. Yeah, the golden bowls, which are prayers of the saints. And then another verse came to me when it when it was Cornelius and the Bible says that his prayers and his arms had came up as a memorial. Yeah. Hallelujah. That they had came up as a memorial before the Lord. Thank you, Lord. And and his prayers. This is an Acts 10 and four. It's talking about Cornelius, who was devout and God fearing Roman centurion and an angel of God and an angel. He has an encounter with an angel of God. And the verse re- reads, Cornelius stared at him in fear. What is it, Lord? And he said, the, he asked, the angel answered, your prayers and gifts to the poor have come up as a memorial offering before God. And so I'm thinking about these two scriptures about the bowl of incest, the harp, right? The worship, 
the bowl of incense. Hallelujah. The encounter that took place, the, the seeds we have sown on behalf of our family. How many of you have sown a seed on behalf of your family? I, has anybody ever done that? I don't know. I, I, I believe in stuff like that. Has anybody ever served, sowed a seed on behalf of their family? Hallelujah. You guys can answer below if, if it's been you. Have you have you partnered and sowed a seed on behalf of your family and say, I know, God, that in your timing. Well, God said, tell my people that their prayers have come up as a memorial and their generosity. They have ascended as a memorial before God. Hallelujah. And they are in those bowls of incense. Hallelujah, of incense. Those bowls of incense. And they're the prayers of the saints that went up before God out of the angel's hand. Here it is, Revelations 8, 3 through 5, 3 through 5. And another angel came and stood at the altar holding a golden censer, and much incense was, give, incense was given to him, and that he might add to it the prayers of all the saints upon the golden altar, which was before the throne. And the smoke of the incense and the prayers of the saints went up before God out of the angel's hand. And the angels took the censer, and he was filled, and he he filled it with fire, the fire of the altar, and threw it into the earth. And there followed prayer, peals of thunder, and sounds, and flashes of lightning, and a, and like an and an earthquake. God knew the timing here to get things done. He released the power, and He took the bowl and mixed it with fire, and released it from His altar. Can you imagine those prayers coming back from heaven to earth? Hallelujah! Being set ablaze. Hallelujah. We shall see the return based on the word that God spoke, that this would be a month of return. How many of you can type, type in return, return. Things are being, some things are being returned to us. And we can even, I want the people this month to get a bowl that's gold and as a prophetic action. Hallelujah. Cause as it is in heaven, so may it be on earth, but get a bowl. Hallelujah. And begin to put prayers in the bowl as prophetic action that we believe that we shall see a return. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. There are some prayers that we have been waiting for the return. And I think about my aunt. Almost 60 years old. God knew that he would need me to be obedient. Me and my husband and my in-laws to drive 10 hours. To see the fulfillment. For the masculine bloodline. And he did that for her whole family. That's, that's our inheritance as believers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will remain confident in this. I will see the goodness of the Lord. I will see my family saved. I will see my mom saved. I will see my dad saved. I will see my cousin saved. I will see it. I believe it. On this side of the on this side of glory, there should be a fulfillment. It's a return that's happening. Hallelujah. 
It should be a return happening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A return. Hallelujah. Here's the definitions for return, biblical definitions. To come or go back to a place. To come to the state, to come to the state, to return from bondage to a state of freedom. To answer. Are you going to receive an answer? To come again to revisit. Ha, did it be so, Rabbi? Thou to mankind be good and friendly still and oft return. Number five, to appear or to begin again after an, a revolution. Number six, to show fresh signs of mercy. Let me repeat that again. To come or to go back to the same place. Here's an example. The gentleman goes from the country to London and returns. Number two, to come to the same state as to return from bondage to a state of freedom. Number three, to answer like return mail, if you will. You're going to receive the return, the answer this month. Number four, to come again to revisit Hallelujah. I'm going to return to that idea. I'm going to revisit that situation. I'm going to return to that. Number five, to appear or to begin again after a periodical revolution. Hallelujah. Here's an here's a, here's a example of that. With the year seasons return, but not to me returns the day. Number six, to show signs of fresh mercy. Hallelujah. And here are more to bring or to carry or to send back. To repay. To give in recompense or requital. To give back, to tell, to relate, to communicate, to retort, to render, to render back, <laughs> to send, to transmit, to convey. Hallelujah. Now, those are all the verbs, you guys. I'm about to get into, stay with me. I feel something on this as I'm, as I'm declaring this. Now, there are the nouns. The nouns to return, the act of coming or going back. The act of, that's number one. Number two, the act of sending back. Number three, the act of putting in the former place. Hallelujah. Number four, the act of moving back. Number five, the act or process of coming back like to a former state, like the return of health. There's also return as a renewal or revolution or repayment or a profit or advantage or a remittance or a repayment or restitution. Hallelujah. So we believe God. The act of restoring or giving back. I love that restitution. You guys, I'm going to have all these definitions for you to look and to pray over that there is return happening. Hallelujah. 
Do we receive a return on that? I love that my cousin, he got married and he honored us at, at the wedding. He asked us to marry him and he lived, that's James' cousin. He lived with us for a season for two years. And so I remember during that time, I had a dream of him marrying this girl with an Afro and he's, and he's a young guy, but he really was believing God to get married. When I first saw him, I saw, uh, I, I, when I first saw him, once he went to college, I, I, I heard the Lord say that he would get married at a young age. And, um, it's just the return of the word. Yeah. The, the Bible says that no word that God speaks will return to him void. <laughs> so I believe God that we're about to see that return. Yeah. I want you to get that bowl and uh, maybe Dollar Tree or wherever you want to get it. Some of y'all fancy, go to a fancy place. I don't know, Goodwill, wherever you want. That ain't fancy, but I'm just saying maybe you'll find like a fancy bowl. I don't want you to go cash out on the bowl. It just depends though on what you feel the Lord is saying. I'm a word of, I'm a woman of prophetic action. Hallelujah. And I want you guys to watch and see what God does. Put those prayers in that bowl in, a, in accordance with Revelations where it talks about the bowls of prayer. Hallelujah. And we are believing God for something supernatural to occur. We are believing God for the avalanche that he spoke of. He said that there shall be an avalanche. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your avalanche. Thank you, Lord, for your avalanche of blessings in Jesus' mighty name. Would you study that word as well, return for the month of April? You guys, this is my birthday month. I will be 42 April the 10th. Hallelujah. And I'm excited for the return. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And I'm excited that just like Philip and the centurion, that our prayers, our worship, and our giving will come up to him as a memorial. Hallelujah. So do me a favor. Yes, a return on investment, that ROI. Do me a favor, you guys. If you felt a wind on this word, say me. Did you feel a wind on it? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He said, I'll, I'll watch over my word to perform it. It may have took 60 years to see my aunt give her life to the Lord, but I was there at 42 years old to see it. That means that those, the prayers of those who went before us, and I believe in the great cloud of witnesses that there are prayers that are being answered today that were spoken by our grandmothers and our great grandmothers. I remember my great grandmother told my dad when he was a kid, he told me this story that if you don't be a preacher, your seed will. Well, he got double for his trouble where myself and my twin brother both are ministers of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so there was a return concerning our lives that I could have gone another way. Hallelujah. But there are words that are stay over the bloodlines heads until someone stands and says, send me, I'll go. 
That is for those of us who will watch this. There will be maybe 20,000 who watch the broadcast, 10,000 on Facebook, 20,000 on YouTube who say, I will do it because there is a legacy and there is an inheritance over my bloodline. Father, open the door for our families to see the fruit of our prayers. May we see the return this month in Jesus' mighty name. And it's now unto you and not unto us. We believe that we shall see it. In the name of Jesus. Come on. If that's your son or your daughter, call out their name now. Matter of fact, you can type it. Hallelujah. We believe that our sons and our daughters will not be out there in the street doing whatever. For there is prayers over their life. God that is waiting to come into full bloom. I remember being in the club and one day it just felt like I wasn't supposed to be in there anymore. One day I just said, that's it. And there was a group in Carbondale, Illinois, who said we have been fasting for you. Because we saw a great call on your life. And I was like, okay. Later, my twin brother would tell me that this woman who I met when I was about nine or 10, maybe 11, she asked my brother, is is your sister prophesying yet? Well, I didn't get called into the prophetic until I was 24 years old. But there was a woman who was praying and interceding over my life as a little girl and the prayers of the righteous availeth much yeah that woman has gone on to be with the lord but here i am ministering to people all over the world on a medium that wasn't even available at the time social media wasn't even available at the time But somebody saw a call on my life. I believe we're about to see the return and the inheritance for those who are believers. May the prayers of the righteous come up like an incense, a memorial before the Lord. Standing in prayer for your family. I, hallelujah. I will remain confident in this. We will see the goodness of God, the fulfillment of the promises, hallelujah, of Jesus Christ concerning your family, concerning our bloodlines. We shall see it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Come on. He's answering prayers this month. I believe it. When you get that call that asks you to pray for your loved ones, go ahead and do it. Hallelujah. He's going to do it. Hallelujah. And those tears, he he remembers those tears too. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Well, you guys. That is the monthly word for me for for April. It is my birthday month, and I I am going to be back. We're going to be doing a um a broadcast. I'll be doing a broadcast with James. But uh, if you felt weight on this word and you want to partner with the ministry, you can partner at Cash App at DrAlexisLive.com, or you can go. I mean, at Dr. Alexis Live. Or you can go to www.dralexislive.com. I will also, you can also do Zelle, Dr. Alexis M at Outlook.com. I am about to transition in my giving. We're going to transition to a website. I'm working on that now. So bear with me because I really want to, um, I'm going to, um, within the next month, kind of phase out. We're phasing out of Cash App. And so... But for this month, still utilizing it. So, um, yes, at Dr. Alexis Live, Dr. Alexis Live, you can give there. And um, 
Yes, tell me if you felt a weight on that thing. I feel some power behind that. Hallelujah. I feel some power behind that. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So you can give right now. Dr. Alexis M at Outlook.com. Dr. Alexis Live at Cash App. Uh, and then also www.dralexislive.com. And uh, when you give, just type in return. That's what the seed's for. It's for a return. To say you partnered with the word, you believe the word, that it is some wind on the word, it's some weight on the word. Thank you, Lord. You felt something with it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Return. I see that hand. Let me know if this was for you. This word was for you guys. William, the Apostle William, God bless you. You guys, and as we, as you watch the replay, keep posting. Keep posting that. Return, return, return. Yes, I will be praying for your daughter. A return in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Return, 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 return. Just for you, return. Hallelujah. Return, Dana. I see that hand. Cynthia, I see that hand. Warrior, I see that hand. Denise, I see that. I see that. Vanessa, God bless you. Return. Yes. It's all about the souls in the end of the day. Come on, let's do it. We got to do it for Jesus, and uh, that's what it is. A lot of people have made the gospel something completely different, but I got to stick with what I know, what the Lord has said. You know, to go on live and be like, listen, I feel like this month God want to talk about souls. <laughs> people are like, what? You don't have nothing to talk about? I want to talk about this card I was trying to get. No, girl, he's ain't talking about souls. He's about to save some lives this month. That there's going to be an avalanche. I believe that in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. You guys, let me show you guys. Some of you weren't on. We're going to do some of these um, commercials real quick. And then I'll be right back. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let me see how to do this real quick. One second. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Join me April 4th at 6 p.m. CST to learn how to become a state level vendor and to obtain an essential contract. You definitely don't want to miss this course. Have y'all checked out the Here Comes the Bride series? You definitely do not want to miss these. We broadcast every Wednesday at 7 p.m. CST. You need to look them up on YouTube right now. They are life-changing. See you there. Okay, Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Virginia, all y'all on the East Coast. Y'all been asking me to come, and now y'all better show up, okay? I will be there April 19th and 20th alongside some good friends of mine. Can't wait to see y'all. You can register at DrAlexisLive.com, and I just am so excited for this move of God that's about to take place. Get your tickets now. Okay, so there it is. I will be in Washington, D.C. Y'all come on and see me. We are getting the place to be decided, um, but I'm excited to come there. I haven't never done a meeting there, and so it's going to be phenomenal. It's going to be amazing. We are getting the place right now, but you can register. We will have uh, Friday night, 7 to 10, and then it will be Saturday, uh, 10 to 4. And that will be, um, you know, we are asking for support to come for everybody to chip in so that we can uh, come and do the work um, and come travel there. And I'm looking forward to it. Hallelujah. So hallelujah. So thank you guys for your gifts. Again, we will be back, James and I, this month. 
And uh, yeah, it's going to be an avalanche this month and is the month of return. God bless you.